Yeah, Steve has a pretty, pretty cool town, pretty neat. Yo, what's up guys? So it's bike life today and uh, so this trip is um, a trip that we made up to Steamboat Springs uh, actually back in March and yeah, it's June now so there's been quite a holdup. But yeah, I'm just getting caught up on footage and uh, I got a lot more biking footage I need to edit as well. So yeah, this was a really fun trip and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> So I've never been night skiing before and Steamboat had this to offer which was really dope. The snow felt like slush but in a way it was kind of like powder so it was kind of a win. By the morning although the snow was really bad and it was pretty much like all ice so we had to get up some higher so elevation icy, and we actually found some pretty decent powder up there. Looks like you found some good snow on the mountain today. Difficult terrain. So one of the cool things about Steamboat is they actually have kind of a hidden jump section. I really found it out of nowhere. But the jumps are actually pretty massive and might be some of the biggest ones I've hit on skis. And it was actually really fun. Good job, bro. Also, please guys, slow down when there's a catwalk. Don't ram and go straight through a catwalk at full speed because you saw what happened to me. The snowboarder wasn't looking at all, so just make sure you guys watch and slow down. At the top of the mountain, they actually have some really cool riding. And uh, I did find these chutes, and uh, they were more like a double black kind of uh, technical trail. They had some moguls, and this was actually really challenging for me, but it was really fun to try. Yeah, boys. Very powdery. Yeah. What's up, boys?
Unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, the Steamboat Springs season had to end. But luckily, we did get to ski the last day they were open. So guys, that brings us to the end of this adventure. Steamboat was crazy fun, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, uh, keep an eye out for upcoming content. So guys, we're heading up to Utah in the next couple weeks, so get prepared for some epic footage. I guarantee you guys that we'll have some epic footage of us riding, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stay in Fruta and hopefully explore around some other areas in Utah. But yeah, just keep an eye out.